Um, Amanda, you are someone that I consider to be on the bleeding edge of content. You're a host, you're a creator, producer, director, you uh, executive produced and created uh, the conversation. Um, what, had some of these platforms been around, how, how do you think that would have sort of shaped your creative process or what like? It well, I would have been in a lot more trouble <laughs> growing up if, these, if we had have had digital platforms. But when I created the conversation, I initially made it to go online because there was no one was making content like this. It's deeply personal, intimate um, interviews with women about and girls about really significant things that happen in their lives. And, and I was my own story is threaded through this. And I didn't think it would end up on television. I, I built a website myself, like some terrible website, you know, and I was going to put it up there. And the network, and I was just saying this to someone this morning, the network wasn't aware. When, when the network, when Lifetime bought it, they were not aware of how powerful digital was. And they were like, oh, yeah, let it keep the rights to that. You know, and I was like, score. <laughs> you know, and I think that there's no way I would be able to reach the 18 million women around the world that watch my content if it wasn't for digital. There's no way. And ultimately, I'm making content that tells stories that can help and inspire women and girls. And so I need it on a digital platform. TV can't reach the places that digital can. I get letters from girls in like Iran and Saudi Arabia and South Africa, you know, just telling me I watched your show and I didn't know women could think like this and feel like this. Thank you. That's all due to digital. Um, I, woo, sorry. Did I answer a few things in one go? I yeah. couldn't do that. So how do, <laughs> how do you think these platforms are sort of helping young women or sort of just people in general? I think being able to connect with other people who have the same interests and or challenges as you do is so powerful. I mean, like Meredith was saying, I've had like direct contact through all my social media um, with my audience. So I pretty much make things now that they've told me they want. My audience kept saying, please write a book, write about this, that, and the other. And basically, I've written a book based on the things that they want to know about. So it actually is so valuable for us to be able to communicate with one another and build a relationship. And like Meredith was saying, it's not one way. Like when I'm having a really rough time and I just think, oh, I can't keep doing this anymore, I get emails, I get tweets, I get pictures saying, thank you so much for that interview that you did and it changed something in my life and you think, all right, I gotta keep going.